We're Sid and Mackie, and we're professional mountain bikers on a quest to race the best and most challenging mountain bike races around the world. For the past few years, this life has taken us to some pretty epic places, from stage racing in the high Andes to EWS racing in Tasmania. However, the past few weeks have been spent at home with our noses firmly pressed to the old grindstone. We want to start 2023 in the best shape of our lives, which means a lot of intervals and not the world's most interesting videos. However, a few days before the end of 2022, I got an interesting notification from Strava that inspired a new personal challenge. So you have gotten 97, 97 QOMs this year. QOMs this That's year. ridiculous. Strava is a social media network that allows you to upload the GPS file from your ride and see how you performed compared to others. If you have the fastest uploaded time on a given segment for your gender, you'll get a KOM or a QOM, which stands for king or queen of the mountain. While I've intentionally gone after a handful of these QOMs, most of them were incidental. Either I got them in races or while riding segments that didn't have a lot of competition. In my experience, Strava QOMs or KOMs are often more easily acquired when you aren't trying. Pretty sure I didn't get it. Oh yeah, wah wah. I think it's gonna be like within 45 seconds. So I have no idea if I can get three more in a day, but this is my last chance. Here we go. I've hatched a plan. Let's hear it. I mean, Strava does this thing where they like show you your biggest moments, quote unquote. It's very cheesy. It's your year in sport. Right. But I learned from this that I have 94 QOMs. At least that's what I thought it was. And then we checked again yesterday and it was 97. So you have gotten 97, 97 QOMs this year. QOMs this that's year. ridiculous. I just would like to throw that right, out Right, and it's there. currently December 28th, 7th. So, I mean, obviously I would like to make it 100. Sid texted Mike, what did you say? I said, I just realized I've gotten 94 QMs this year and I kind of want to make it 100. Can I do tomorrow's threshold intervals as Strava hunting? It's not the same thing, <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of the same thing. There's a couple that I think I can get two, if not three QOMs in one go. That's sort of like my safety net. Okay. And then I'm gonna go do, try to get the QOM on a climb called Three Bears, which is very long, but it's close to what I'm supposed to be doing for my threshold intervals. It'll be like 22 minutes. And dad's gonna go with me on the e-bike. Yeah! I want to take a minute to thank the sponsor of this video, Shox Headphones. Shox Headphones are bone conduction headphones, which means that they sit right here as opposed to being inside your ear. That means that while you're riding down the trail, you can enjoy music while still being aware of your surroundings. You can have a conversation with your riding partner or other trail users. You can tell if someone's coming up behind you. And if you're on the road, most importantly, you can know what cars are doing around you. We love shocks. We use them for almost all of our training rides because we ride a ton of hours a week and having a great playlist makes a huge difference. These are the Open Run Pro Minis. I chose the minis because I have sort of like a smaller head. So we actually have the opportunity today to give away two pairs of Shox headphones, either Open Run Pro or Open Run Pro Mini. So the way to enter this giveaway is to leave a comment on this video and tell us how you would use Shox in your daily life. And we will pick two winners. So if you want to try Shox, go ahead and do that. Maybe you will win. If not, there's a link in the description to their website. And this is a giveaway for US and Canada only. Okay, let's get back to the video. Let's go ride. Have fun, go fast, get lots of QOMs. So while Sid gets to go, and be a badass and get QOMs. I will be doing three by 15 minute threshold intervals. So my power range I think is like 310 to 330. 15 minutes, three minutes recovery, three times. Gonna head up to the road to Pajarito ski area and do them there, which is what we've been doing recently. They're hard. 
That's all I have to say about them. Before we get any farther into this video, I just want to take a minute to remind everyone that Strava isn't real. People get really hung up on Strava, put a lot of their self-worth into Strava, and I know I'm making a whole video about me trying to get 100 QOMs. I just wanna remind you guys that it is a social media network, but it is not the best form of comparison. There are GPS issues. You never know how hard someone was going or how easy they were going. For all you know, that person stopped and took photos and had a picnic. The flip side is also true. I've definitely seen some segments where someone obviously went super hard and then they've titled the ride recovery ride or easy cruise so don't believe everything you see on the internet if you enjoy Strava to keep up with your friends and to see what people are doing or to set personal challenges like this one by all means keep Straving. but um, as Marie Kondo would say if it doesn't bring you joy let it go most importantly, it is never worth running someone off the trail, being rude to someone just to get a Strava segment because it's not real. Okay, rant over, let's go ride hard. I will admit my strategy for this is definitely going for some low hanging fruit, I think. Um, you don't really know until you try. And the section of trail I'm gonna try for is, I just want I've never really gone hard on because it's always at the beginning of the ride not really a straight descent like it is a descent but if you want to go fast on it you have to really work for it so today's the day none of this means anything but it's good to have a little challenge at the end of the year and dad has dropped me on the e-bike oh look who it is it's sick Mackie. Have fun! I love you! You too! Go fast! Preparing me for sprinting. That's okay. Alright, two thirds of the way. Five minutes to go. Alright, 315 average. I will take it. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Thank you. Have a good one. I'm catching you. 
It goes uphill on the other side, you'll probably catch up. So, I was dead. So I felt pretty good on that, faded a bit at the end. My heart rate got super high. Um, Trouble with Strava is you never really know, like, could be picking me up here, could have finished like half a mile down the trail. Um, that's why I'm doing a few more than I need, so hopefully I can get like at least 50% of them. How's that? That was pretty darn fast. <laughs> Sorry, I missed you on that It's one. okay. Okay, number two. Whew. All right, 314. Whew. I'm gonna try to not start too fast. All right, locking suspension, starting the lap. I don't actually know where this starts. I'm gonna try to keep it under control for like the first half because this is a long, super shitty climb. If I'm being honest, this is the segment that I really care about. It's a 700 foot plus climb with three steep, nasty loose pitches, aka the bears. There is absolutely nothing fun about this climb. When I first rode it earlier this year, it just about destroyed me even though I wasn't pushing the pace. However, my fitness has come a long way since the beginning of the year, and I want to show what I can do. But it's definitely going to hurt. See ya. And there goes the e-bag. Oh, we're good. I'm just gonna sit right here in like the 250s. And it's a good place to be for at least the first bear. Dig in. Go, girl, go. Coming by on your right. My heart rate 170 before the next bear, <laughs> but without going slow. So let's talk.
go, go, go. Almost on the top of the second pair. Work it, work it, work it, work it, work it, work it. Work it. Oh man, 315 again, solid, Whew. but I wasn't exactly overachieving, that's okay, the point of intervals is not to overachieve, it's to do the intervals. Alright, that was pretty good, hard, but I feel good, I hit my numbers, uh, it looks like Sid and Jim are not back yet, so let's stock them. Ah, oh, like a couple minutes away. Look yeah. who's here! I feel like you're back before us. By like two minutes. Oh, nice. Okay, maybe five minutes. Well, How'd it go? Save. Good, I think. Felt good? Yeah. Felt fast? This is the way to do it, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's really a lot easier. <laughs> Did you have fun being uh, cheering and support oh, crew? Yeah, it was, it was, you know, going up a mountain like that, not even in, Feeling it is amazing. Yeah. And yeah, I'm watching her go and not even be spent is amazing. <laughs> Just not me. be spent? <laughs> well, no, no, he's not spent. Yeah, he's not okay. spent. He hasn't gone to Strava yet. Okay, but it uploaded. It's the moment kind of, of truth. The technology is just taking a while today. <laughs> well, classic the time I go out and try to get a bunch of Strava QOMs for the first time all year. Intentional strava Strava is on the fritz. We made it work. Let's Should forward. I scroll down? Scroll. One, two, three. All right, that was the three that we needed. Let's oh, see what else we got. Three. Dang, oh, that's four right <laughs> that's there. Five. One, five. two, three, four, five, six. six. Seven, Seven eight. eight. <laughs> this one I had already though, so I don't know if that'll count for my hundred because I took it for myself. Dang. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs>this challenge was a great way to celebrate the end of a big year, and both Mackie and I are going into 2023 feeling strong, fit, and excited. However, it was a process to get to this point, and we're taking nothing for granted. That story coming next week. So that basically that was like a 50 to 60 watt FTP increase in a year. Yeah. So if I could do that again. <laughs> <laughs>